Welcome back to Bourbon Country Reacts. Hey, everybody. I'm Keith. That's Dustin. Y'all know who we are. Music. Bourbon music. Bourbon. Music. Yeah. Bourbon. Bribe. Melody. Melody had sent us a good one. Yeah, so basically all these Ezra Brooks. Ezra, Ezra, or if you've had a couple, Ezra it's Brooks. Ezra Brooks. We don't have any videos that say that. <laughs> if you go back in our archives. We totally might. Shut up, man. So what about <laughs> what were you saying about Ezra Brooks? So this, this is made by Luxro. Yep. And we like Luxro stuff. Yep. Are they coming to get you? No, nah, that's fire. When they're coming to get me, it's woo, 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 because it's popo. <laughs> you hear me yelling 12 and run out the back. <laughs> nice pop. That's a great pop. So I'm, I'm curious how this is going to go. and We'll probably talk about this a lot more when we're talking about the bourbon. But um, Lux products tend to be cinnamon bombs. Uh, yeah, dark caramel cinnamon bombs. Yeah, and I like that. Um, so this is Melody, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Melody. Seriously, um, we love Ezra Brooks. Ezra, Ezra Brooks. And so I think we've talked about this before. Melody sent us a bunch of bottles. She separately sent us a bunch of songs. They are not paired by her, and they're not paired by us. We are literally doing it at random. Kind of. So uh, the song that comes with this is uh, Travis Tritt's Country Club. I think I've heard this. Really? I think so. I don't know how old it is. I think this is one I heard when I was little. Well, I, I guess it, it probably is a little older. Now, I, I was kind of interested. I'm curious whether we've got the right video for this. Okay. Because, uh, and if we don't, please forgive us. So let us know. Um, we'll make it right. Usually when we look for Travis Tripp videos, there's going to be an official one right at the top with like, you know, 10 million views or something. We didn't really find that with this song. I don't know if that's because uh, maybe YouTube's doing weird copyright things or this is a deep track, which would be kind of cool, really. I don't think it is. Yeah, you think you heard it like on radio? I, I could be wrong, yeah. right? But let's find out. All right, let's check it out. Charlie Daniels esque intro. I took a double take out on the interstate when I saw her making eyes at me. So I followed her down to Clubhouse Drive, past the pool and the 18th green. And in the parking lot, I said, It's mighty hot. Maybe I could buy you a beer. She said, I'm glad you asked, but I'll have to pass because only members are allowed in here. And I stole I'm a member of the country club. <laughs> country music is what I think. I drive an old Ford pickup truck. I do my drinking from a I'm going to back this up because there's. it sounds like we're about to get an instrumental, but I am totally digging the musical composition of this. Yeah. So you've got this kind of choppy uh, fiddle. Yep. That's definitely being played fiddle style. Yep. Uh, this this kind of choppy fiddle, and it's alternating between, because Charlie Daniels used to love, especially intros, fiddle intros with those staccato notes. Dun, dun, and, and then he would hit, fast staccato stuff da, 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 right mm -hmm. so this is kind of alternating between that and long drawn out and then underneath it you've got that still guitar yep that is just it's all through there and this is just providing such a classic vibe quintessential quintessential country easy for you to say no it wasn't <laughs> 
Yeah, I think so. Like, uh, what what did we call it one time? Barrel proof country music. Yes, D- I, I think this is not barrel proof. This is not barrel proof, but I think that is barrel proof. So let me back it up. I, I think we're in for a treat on some instruments coming up. Yeah. Hey, honky, on the roadside pub. I'm a member of the country club. Sounds certainly sounds plausible. Uh, so musically, that was a really cool song. The way the instruments were were blended and uh, complemented each other, and that I don't, I don't think that was a ton of studio engineering. I mean, it could have been, but if it was, they were so damn good you couldn't tell it was studio engineering. True, it almost sounded like a live take. That felt like four musicians playing together. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, four or five, if you count the drummer. But, um, yeah, so musically, that was pretty awesome. And uh, I think Barrel Proof Country. Fits. Fits. It fits. Right? Yeah. In my mind, when before we started this channel. Yeah. When you said country music, that's what I thought of. Right. So things that sound like that. Yeah. So I don't know about you guys. It, you know what what you think of when those two words go together but that's what i thought of yeah and i don't hate it i don't either um and i'll tell you you know what probably 18 19 year old me probably still would have right because i never would have g- given the strings playing in it a chance right you're like what is this twangy shit no why are the guitars not distorted yeah why are, right. you know what is that steel thing that it, it, sounds weird yeah grand's pause music yeah you know? <laughs> but, uh no, nope no there's there's skill you grew up. there's skill there yeah and it's 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 pleasing to listen to speaking of pleasing <laughs> Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ezra Brooks 99 does not disappoint. It's more oak forward than I remember, though. It is, and there's mixed in with that oak forward. Because what well, normally, I've talked about uh, Rise being backwards. Yeah. Right? Yeah. When you get the pepper up front instead of on the finish. Right. Most bourbons, you get the oak on the finish. Right. This one. Right up front, you're getting the oak. Kind of goes all the way through the drink. 
It does. Um, and it does have the very typical Lux cinnamon caramels yep. with it. Yep. Um, I really didn't think much about the mid in my last drink. It's a cinnamon bomb, though. There's a lot of cinnamon in there. The mid's pure cinnamon, isn't it? Even up front, I got a bunch. Yeah. Just to kind of, it just kind of punched me. Which I love in bourbons when you get that cinnamon. Um, and it's not like, we're not talking about like cinnamon infused shit. No, like There's chewing a on a damn cinnamon stick. That kind of flavor. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. It, it does, it's not the same flavor, but it makes my brain go kind of like big red gum. <laughs> Yeah, see, I don't think it's that acute. Right. Like, when you, if, have you ever chewed on a cinnamon stick? Yeah. You know how at first it kind of just tastes like wood? Yes, and then it doesn't. And then it starts to bleed in and ramp up the cinnamon? Yeah. That's kind of what this is doing for me. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I wonder what char they use. Hard to say. Does it have an age statement on it? Let's talk more about that. So, Ezra Brooks 99. This is not terribly hard to find. No, it's around. Yeah, it's not everywhere. I don't know where Lux came from, but man, they exploded on the scene. Yeah. And they exploded at volume. Yes. Like, the... their stuff is around. And good. Yeah. Um, uh, age statement you asked about? It's distilled and aged in Kentucky. We knew that. It's also a sour mash. We knew that. I bet I can guess proof. You're smart ass. He's a smart ass. You think he can guess the proof? What do you guys think? Should he try? What's your guess? 125. <laughs> yes, yeah, you're a smart ass. <laughs> uh, I'm not seeing an age statement on here, which means typically at least four years. They did put on here charcoal mellowed, which I did not know they did that. Hmm. That I did not know. Yeah, so, you know, char level in that barrel, I, I have absolutely no idea. But, you know, the color of it looks like about a four-year. Yeah, it does. It The oh. oak level tastes like about a four-year. So it says on here, bottled at a bold 99 proof oh. and aged the old-fashioned way in new charred American white oak barrels. Ezra Brooks is then charcoal filtered for an unmistakable, unforgettable, mellow flavor. One, I don't know what they're pulling out with that charcoal. Yeah, Jack Daniels does that, though. And two, I don't really think their flavor is mellow. No? I think it's pretty pretty pun- bold. Pretty punchy? Yeah. Yeah, I think they had it right the first time with the bold 99. Right. Um... I think as far as smoothness goes, uh-huh. it's exactly what you'd expect at 99. Yeah. It doesn't light you up. It, yeah, it doesn't light you up, but you know you're drinking something. Right. It's got a little heat. Yeah. That could be the cinnamon, though. I, I, I feel like if, I, if you had blind tested me, I'd have guessed 100. Yeah. yeah. I think you're right. Because it's, it's right there. It's very good, though. It's tasty. I've, I've always loved Lux. Mm-hmm. So thank you, Melody. Cool tune. Oh man, that's good. Damn good drink. Very good drink. What? Why are we rock paper scissor? Oh no, we'll flip a coin later, dude. You know how this goes. <laughs> Tried to get it on channel. <laughs> All right, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Drop down in those comments. Tell us what country music songs we need to check out. Tell us what bourbons and North American whiskeys we need to try and we'll see you next time